Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a first impression video. Well, actually, it's a two-in-one video because I have two products that I wanna review and do a first impression video on. So the first product that I'm gonna be trying out is the Benefit Stay Flawless 15 Hour Wear Primer. This primer claims to keep your makeup on for 15 hours. The second product that I'm going to be doing a first impression on, I don't know if you guys knew about this, but this is new by Makeup Forever. It's their new Smoky Extravagant Mascara. It's supposed to give you really great volume and length. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but I already did my eye makeup just so I can apply this. And then after I apply the mascara, I'm going to do the Benefit Primer and I'm going to show you how you should apply it and all that good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to start off by applying the mascara. First, I'm going to curl my lashes with the Tarte Eyelash Curler. And I'm not going to use any eyelash primer or anything like that. I'm just going to use a regular eyelash curler and the mascara. Because I want to see how it really works by itself. So this is the packaging. Alright, so let me show you the wand inside. So this is what the wand looks like. It kind of looks like a pine cone to me. Um, it's supposed to give you great length and volume and it's not supposed to clump your lashes or have any fallout. Alright, so I'm going to start by doing the first coat of mascara. So this is what the first coat, I have nothing on this eye, but this is what the first coat looks like and that's just one coat. It looks pretty good. Okay, so I've already done both of my eyes. So far, I think it's pretty good. Um, the only complaint that I have is that the outer part of the wand, or the inner part of the wand, this part right here, it's pretty wide. So when I was trying to do my lashes, I was really trying not to um, touch the skin. Because you know how that happens usually with bigger mascaras, you touch the skin and then you're like, oh my gosh, I just messed up my eye makeup. But yeah, the formula, it's really smooth. It doesn't feel hard or anything like the smoky lash. To me, I don't know, I just, I don't like the smoky lash. So hopefully this won't be another disappointment. So I was reading the description and it didn't say anything about being long lasting or long wearing or anything like that. So I'm not really sure if it's gonna smudge underneath my eyes. Okay, so now I'm about to do the second coat because I wanna see how it looks like with two coats on and I wanna see if it's buildable or not. Whoa! Okay, so this is the second coat and it looks like it gave it a lot of length. My eyelashes look super long. Can you tell this is one coat and this is two coats? I don't know if you guys can tell or if it's just me, but it looks really, really long and it looks super black. Wow. Okay guys, so I'm going to go finish applying the second coat on this eye and then I'll come back to show you how to apply the Benefit Stay Flawless 15 Hour Wear Primer. Yay. Okay, so I'm back to show you how to apply the Benefit 15 Hour Wear Primer. I'm so excited for this primer. I can't wait to see if it really works and if it's really going to stay on your face for a long time. Okay, so my skin type is combination. I'm super oily on the T-zone. So yesterday I was talking to one of the Benefit representatives and this is the way she told me to use it. So I'm just going to do it the way she told me. Okay, so one of the things that she told me about the primer is that whenever you open it, there's going to be a second little cap. This one you don't... Oh! Okay, so this one you don't want to throw away because she said if you throw it away, then um, your primer is going to dry out. So she said every time after you're done using it, just close it with the little cap first and then with the bigger cap. She said that you have to work in sections because this dries down like really quick and honestly it does. It dries really, really quick. So I'm going to start off with my forehead because it's the highest point of my face. You're just going to apply it in circular, circular motions and then blend it in with your fingers. I'm going to apply a little bit more. And then right on top of that, you don't have to let it dry, you don't have to let it set. You're going to quickly apply your foundation and then blend it all together because they're supposed to mix, like the foundation and the primer are supposed to mix together.
All right, so now I'm gonna do my cheek right here. I'm gonna apply it from the center of my cheek going outwards and I'm just gonna do a couple of stripes and just blend it into the skin. Then I'm gonna take my foundation once again, apply it in that section and blend it with the primer. It leaves my face feeling so smooth. It really does. I like how it feels. It's not heavy at all. And the way she described it to me is as a double-sided sticky tape. So it's going to stick to your face and it's also going to make sure it sticks to the foundation. So it's like a double-sided sticky tape. Okay, so I finished applying my foundation. I kind of don't want to set it with powder, which I'm probably not just to see how long it lasts. But I'm going to go finish my bronzer and blush and... I'll keep you guys updated throughout the day right now. What time is it? Right now it's 9.55 a.m. So, this is how the foundation looks like about an hour and 30 minutes later. It still looks flawless. I am so impressed. It looks really pretty because right now I would, I would be getting oily. And if you see me like, ugh, like right here, like this part right here, it's um, it's just luminizer. So it's not like I'm oily or anything. I didn't add luminizer on my nose, but it seems like it's getting a tiny bit oily but it's okay like it's not a big deal and the mascara it looks like it's flaking just a tiny bit I don't think the camera can catch that but I see like a few little flakes but it's okay it's not that big of a deal it's still holding up the length and the curl but anyways I have to go to work now I'm gonna update you guys on my lunch break so I'll see you then hey guys so I'm back right now let's see what time is it it's 9 16 p.m. I'm just getting off work I'm sorry I couldn't update you guys during my lunch break I just I was so tired I didn't want to go anywhere I didn't want to walk to my car so basically the primer didn't do what it said that it would do which is basically hold my makeup on my face for 15 hours and it's not even it hasn't even been 15 hours i get so oily on my t-zone i did have to blot once i didn't want to but i had to because my makeup was just coming off and i was like oh gross but anyways right now i'm gonna go grab some milk at heb and yeah whenever i get home in a better lighting i'll let you guys see how my face looks like okay bye Okay guys, so I'm back from H-E-B. Right now, let's see, what time is it? It's 10.30, 10.33 p.m. So it's been around like 12 hours. I forgot when I started doing this video, but it's been a couple of hours ever since I've applied my makeup. So I'm going to review the primer first. The primer, I'm like really, really disappointed because I did have to blot one time. One time of blotting, it's not... It's not a big deal, but, um, like, my makeup just came off. Like, if you look closer, I'm recording with my vlogging camera, but if you look closer, you can see my skin. And this is supposed to be a full coverage foundation, so it didn't hold up as long as it said it would. I just, I don't like it. I don't think it's worth it. The I think it's, like, $32, but I don't, I don't think it's worth it, like, honestly. Or at least... Hold on, let me not say it's not worth it, but I have oily skin, so for oily skin people, I wouldn't recommend it because it just, it melts off your skin, it just, it doesn't hold up your foundation like it says it is. I would probably recommend it to someone that has maybe dry to normal skin, but definitely not if you have oily skin. So I guess I'm back in the hunt to find the best primer for oily skin. So if you have oily skin and you want me to review another primer, then just a thumbs up this video. Okay, so now for the mascara. It did hold up the curl. It also didn't have any fallout, which I'm surprised. It doesn't have any transfer. But overall, my thoughts about the mascara is that it's a really, really great mascara. I think it's worth the money. If you're looking for mascara that's going to give you length, volume, and it's not going to clump your lashes or have any fallout, then I would really, really recommend this mascara because I, I like it. It's probably one of my favorite mascaras at the time now. Okay, so I hope these reviews were helpful for you. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and subscribe. 
for more upcoming videos that I'm going to post. And if you found this video helpful, just go ahead and thumbs up the video. And if you have any comments, if you want to let me know anything or if you want me to review any product, just let me know in the comments down below. Alright guys, so I'll talk to you guys later. Good night and have a wonderful day. Bye!